Temperatures are on the rise, not only tomorrow, but also tonight leading up to that. So we're going to slowly get warmer as we head into tomorrow afternoon, resulting in one of the warmest days of the week. That said, because it's one of the warmest days of the week, we're going back downhill again, right back into that chilly territory we experienced today and yesterday. In fact, even colder weather is around the corner, so you definitely got a little practice for what's ahead later on this week. Here's where we sit right now. Wind chill's still looking pretty bitter in the single digits, but for the most part, we're above zero. So at least we've seen some slight improvement over the last couple hours. We're no longer seeing any kind of negative values. Now looking at at least positive values when it comes to the wind chill and we'll slowly warm up then all throughout the rest of the night. You can see on future track that we'll be back close to the teens and then even into the 20s into tomorrow afternoon. So that's going to feel a lot warmer than where we were today. So temperatures likely hitting their lowest point now. They should slowly rise over the rest of the night of a mainly clear sky. The wind starting out light, but it does pick up some. So we could see the wind chill hover still in the single digits tomorrow morning before climbing into the teens to 20s from there. Eventually, we're going to end up above freezing at 33 degrees. We'll start out sunny, but we do have some increase in cloud cover, so look for a cloudy end of the day with a breezy wind gusting up to 30 miles per hour. Overall, again, this is going to be the warmest day of the week as we do have some chilly air just around the corner. You can see that uh, that slight warm up that we have going into tomorrow afternoon is uh, just short lived as another wave of harsher, colder air works in hitting us by the time we get to Wednesday. For Wednesday itself, the temperatures might drop all throughout the course of the day, so we're really not looking at much warmth with our high temperatures are uh, likely in the morning. Morning. By Thursday, we're in the single digits for much of the day, but keep in mind, at least we're not in the teens below zero for our high temperature. That's what the Great Plains and portions of uh, Minnesota are going to see. We then head into Friday, and Friday morning may dip close to the teens below zero before recovering from there. And note, there's that little wave of warmer air working in for the weekend, so we're not going to look for the harsh uh, conditions to last for too long, but looks like the end of the week, definitely on a cold note. For future track, uh, we stay dry throughout much of the day tomorrow. Then into tomorrow night, that's when we do have some scattered flurries. Really not getting much for accumulation. And as you can see, a lot of this coming through overnight, Tuesday night into Wednesday morning. So might wake up to a dusting on the ground. Uh, this snow should clear out quickly and again, really not accumulate much at all. Then as we look ahead towards Thursday night into Friday morning, that's when we could be a little closer towards dangerous territory with wind chills near minus 20. So get ready for that extra harsh weather just around the corner later this week. We then have that jump into the weekend and we'll be back and forth from there between the 20s and 30s. In fact, in your most accurate 10 day forecast, we could be above freezing by early next week. So there are some milder days sprinkled in, but for the most part, we've got plenty of harsher cold to deal with over the next 10 days or so. One of those days being today, we just managed to stay on target, managed to warm up to 18 degrees early this afternoon. So the jackpot keeps rising. Not as big as the Powerball, William, but still 260 and still going. I wouldn't complain about either amount for the record. Still to come on 